them is obeying their leaders, yes. doing what they tell them to do. Because God don't have no silly women. God don't call no silly women. God can't use them. Only thing that they can do is to go and get saved. Silly women is a defense against God. They offense against his business. When God spoke to Jeremiah, when he spoke that to Jeremiah 9 and 17, he told him, said, send for the cunning women. Send for the morning women. Let them come. Let them send up a wailing. He didn't send for now silly women. He didn't want no silly woman. A silly woman couldn't even moan. He didn't want her to even come and moan no. Send for the cunning women. Praying women. I thank God for that. I thank God for 2 Timothy 3 and 6, where they talk about the silly women, carried away in lust, carried away in divers of lust. Talk about the women in the other scripture. Talk about the, the silly women, the, the holy women, how they built their house, but how the silly women took their down. Not only did they tear them down with their hands, but they tear them down with their mouth also. Yes, sir. We don't want no silly women. Right. We want to be holy women. We want to be women standing up. We don't have no place to be silly. And yes, Lord, you take a couple of silly women, they are tap the church. Yeah, Lord. Turn them loose. Yeah, 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 Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I wonder sometimes what Paul was talking about. When Paul was talking about, when he told those women, said, now look at here, don't be asking no questions. You want to know anything, go home. Ask your husband when you get there. I'm mighty afraid that there was a few silly women in there. He didn't want to be by with them silly women. Let them go on home. Let the husband deal with them silly women. But oh, I'm telling you the truth. I'm thinking about uh, Philippians, Philippians 4 and 3. I'm thinking about when the women got anchored down in God, when they got anchored down in the Word, when the Holy Ghost started moving up and down in them. I heard Paul say, all right. Say, I want you to remember them women now that labored with me in the gospel. Sister Constant Hunt. Say amen for her. Thank you, Missionary Hurt. The challenge goes out tonight to the women, and it's to dare to be an Esther. The Bible says that Esther was a beautiful Jewish woman chosen as a new queen for Ahasuerus, the king of Persia. Her uncle Mordecai had incurred the hatred of Haman, who was the evil court favorite, and in doing so, he brought the threat of death to all of the Jewish people. But Esther, at the risk of her position and her life, was able to avert this tragedy and to save her people. Yeah. Right. Who know it? Whether you were called to the kingdom right. for such a time as this. Right. Dare to be an Esther because of a woman named Jezebel. Yeah. Turn with me to Revelations, the second chapter. I'll read verses 18 to 23 and 29. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write these things, saith the Son of God, 
who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. Yes. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and the hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Right. The Bible says that Jezebel was the ancient daughter of a heathen Baal-worshipping king of the ancient cities of Tyre and Sidon. She painted her face and kept her head beautifully attired. She practiced witchcraft. She married King Ahab of Israel and influenced the worship of heathen idol in ancient Israel. She was a murderess and she also killed the prophets of Jehovah God. Jezebel's Baal worship was accompanied by fornication, self-mutilation, and child sacrifice. Jezebel's modern-day Baal worship is the bowing down and to worship any religious image, whether it's human, wood, or stone. Jezebel's modern-day Baal worship is the bowing down and the worshiping of sports. The god Zeus was worshiped in the Olympics. It is the worship of sex and pleasure and money and self. The worship, the worship of any other god, save Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is Jezebel's modern-day Baal worship. Jezebel's modern-day painting of the face. Red lips, purple lips, brown lips, white lips, glossy lips, all kinds of lips. Streeches, blotches, circles of red, red rouge, high up on your cheekbones. Midnight black mascara. Over the eye, we have all types of shadows of green and blue and white and pink and silver and red. The eyebrows are plucked out, are shaven off, and then they are drawn back on in a variety of different shapes. Jezebel's modern-day headdress the head is arrayed with bingles and bangles and bows and clips and chains and feathers and flowers and all types of head ornaments. The hair is wigged, cooked, fried, and dyed. Blonde, red, jet black, orange, brown. It's even two tones. Jezebel's modern day murderers. Not only those who murder with weapons, but those who introduce others to alcohol and to mind altering drugs. Those who kill with the tongue the good and moral reputation of the righteous. Those who hate others because of their race creed, or color. Jezebel's modern-day witchcrafts, those who practice black magic, voodoo, sorcery, those who charm and fascinate by satanic powers, those who seduce others through divine science of the mind, through palm reading, through horoscopes, through fortune telling, through zodiacs, through seances, mind control.
control through television and certain games that are played today. Jezebel's modern day witchcrafts through false prophets and transcendental meditation. Jezebel's modern day self mutilation, meaning to maim, to cut off, to damage, or to disfigure through drugs and alcohol, which destroy both the body and the mind. Through oral sex, homosexuality, lesbianism, which damage and disfigure the body with diseases such as AIDS, syphilis, 